Yo, 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 what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, whatever it is Fish Talk Tuesday, Talk of Talk Tuesday, da da da, doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you guys a quick setup on how to do the sturgeon setup. And don't forget, we're still doing the winter giveaway that we're gonna end at the end or the middle of February. We're gonna give away the winner. Um, so don't click away before you subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what we've been doing wrong. Obviously, nothing. We've been costing a lot of sturgeon. But um, just let us know. Let's now let's get back to the video. <laughs> Guys, your boy Headshot. We're gonna teach you guys how to do the uh, sturgeon rig, just the rig alone, so you don't have to click through a bunch of videos. But this is all you need right here. Size six, Decaron leader, sliding clip swivel, big old barrel swivel, and just two beads. And then uh, just your main line. 50 pounds probably good enough for anything you're gonna catch out here, unless you're like us and catch giant monsters all the time. My tackle box for all my sturgeon gear. I'm gonna open that puppy up. So you got your Decaron leaders. We're gonna. Well, this is not the reel I use for sturgeon, but we're gonna use this just for demonstration purposes. My uh, sturgeon rod is set up, so I don't wanna. Yeah. Uh, we got eight ounce lead for uh, for the bigger rod, and then we got six ounce lead for the smaller rod. Then you just got uh, barrel swivels and uh, sliding clip swivels. All right, guys, so this is everything you're gonna need. You're gonna need a size six hook with Decron leader. You're gonna need, I believe this is a size one, size two uh, barrel swivel, sliding clip, two beads. So then you're gonna use one or two beads. I like using two. And then whatever weight size, and that depends on the size of the current. You know, if it's if it's heavy current, use a bigger uh, bigger lead. You're gonna take your main line. I use 50 pound braid, or I um, if you have a bigger reel, you can go up to 80 pounds. Then you do bead first, slide that down, slip swivel or slip clip, slide that down. bead slide that down then you get to your swivel so from your swivel all you have to do is just do whatever knot you feel comfortable just a quick knot just to demonstrate the knot purposes but there you go you do this then you take your decron leader you go straight to your swivel All right, guys, so that's how it should look when you're done. It should be bead, sliding sliding clip, bead, barrel swivel, Decron leader. Remember, we use a size six, which is also an egg loop knot. If you guys don't know what that is, you just go right back through the eye. Helps keep the bait on the hook, but we use um, the stretchy string to hold our bait anyway. But this is just another uh, way to help it. And then all you do, remember, Get your wed lead size, whatever size you prefer. Clip it on. And then be riding like this. Um, I guess I'll tell you, but the idea is that this weighs it down, and your bait from here is free to free to go wherever. It doesn't get held down, or it's not being anchored down by the actual weight. It's just a free sliding weight. It's just free sliding wherever it goes so your bait can go anywhere it wants and then you just set the hook remember sturgeon barbless hooks every time all right guys the next clips you're gonna see are this exact same setup on the water let's go or one cast just got one on the same sturgeon setup i just showed you just shows yo i'm the best teacher alive where's it at it's gonna be, felt big at first. That's gonna be a little one? Yeah. That's what your girl said. Ooh, that's a decent size one. Ooh, you see that jump? Yeah. There it is, guys. You guys can see it. Sliding swivel beads. I think that's an eight ounce for his rod.
barbless hook.